Hi. <clears throat> none of us is perfect. Yeah, none of us is perfect. On a mental level, sometimes it can be, you know, easy maybe for us to understand and to accept that, you know, yes, I am not perfect. Yeah. Or the other person is not perfect. Yet on a deeper level, it's not so simple. We do expect from ourselves to, to be perfect and not to do mistakes and to have no faults or no pain. Or and we accept, expect other people as well yeah, to be perfect. And we, we might even say, yeah, yeah, you know, we don't want them to be perfect, but we don't have, want them to have this aspect in their character or in the way they talk or they behave. Yeah? We want that to change to be something else. We don't expect from them to be like that. Or we don't ex expect from ourselves to be like that. Yeah? But we're not perfect. Each one of us has few things, at least, yeah, that can be better, that can be improved. And then we have a few other things that we no longer need them at all. Just clear them away. But they are there from our past. Yeah, habits, ways of thinking, belief system, got printed at early age, and they're there. Yeah, and some of them we might be able to change, and some of them maybe not. We'd have to learn to live with them and manage them better, accept it. But each one of us has something, a number of things. Yeah, which can be considered not right or not good enough or better if we didn't have them. That's the situation of the human race. And it's really important for us to have this settlement about the fact that we have some faults. Yeah, really, really important to have this settlement. To look at ourselves and see, okay, see aspect in our character and our psychology or our, the way our emotions work and <coughs> notice it and say to ourselves, ah, okay, I have this. It's okay. Whilst on the other hand, we do our best to improve. Yeah? And it may appear to be a contradiction, but they don't. Because we need this settlement to be able to generate the power and the will, whatever else is necessary to do the change. Because if we have only frustration and anger and disappointment and doubts and, you know, and low self-view and whatever thing, yeah, we will not be able to have the power to do the change. Because and if we will do the change, if we do it with the energy of anger, yeah, it will be a wrong change. Because just we will print more anger in, into our system. Yeah? So it's important to have the settlement. And the settlement will generate the right kind of energy that will allow us to do the changes that are possible for us to do you know, at this point in time. Not everything can be done now. Maybe we don't know yet enough, or we don't have the tools. Or, so the right time to do the change might be in the future. Next year, 10 years, 20 years. Next time we come around, yeah? So we're not perfect. None of us. And it's important to sit. To sit with it. To feel it, to breathe it, to know it. Yeah? And to smile to ourselves. To be kind to ourselves. Yeah? Because we have these wrong habits, let's say, or wrong emotion, not because we choose to. Nobody chooses to, to be stupid or to be ignorant or to do foolish things. Yeah? We just found ourselves doing it. We never chose to do it, you know, consciously deciding. Yeah? I want to be emotionally imbalanced. I want to be an angry person or someone who don't believe others or whatever, yeah? We just found ourselves acting and being like that. 
So it's important that we will be kind to ourselves. Yeah. At the same time being firm about the fact that we want to improve. We want to bring changes. Yeah. We want to make ourselves a better person. But we do it with kindness, with a smile, with encouragement. It's firm, it's there, yeah, it's strong, but it's kind. Yeah, it's not hard punishing. Yeah, it's just being there. Encouraging. Yeah, you can do it. It's okay. It's okay. You don't need to be perfect. Nobody is. But then work hard to improve, yeah? Do the best, you know, the best you can. Make make an effort. Put put energy, put your mind to it, put your heart to it. To improve. But be kind. It's really important. And in the same way to be with other people. Yeah? Being people that are close to us, like our family, children, wife, husband, people at work, people we meet, the large family. Remembering that each one of us has something that they work, you know. It's like a pain in the neck, you know. We don't want it there, but it's there. But it's okay. We have many other aspects that are great, that are wonderful, that we love about ourselves, about other people. It is a struggle sometimes, yeah, but it's okay. We can do it. We have the necessary. And if need, we can always ask for help. And just continue to improve, to learn, to get better. In the same way we learn to walk when we were little, yeah? Walking, falling, walking, falling. Eventually we got it. Now we're running and walking. The same way. But it was done in a soft and kind way. We didn't break our head and leg, whatever. Each time we fell. No. So gentle. And then we stood up. And we got help to do it. From the body, from our parents, from brothers, sisters, other adults, yeah. Who encouraged us and gave us a hand and walked with us. Till we got it. And now we do it to others. And it's natural. It's absolutely natural to be helped and to offer help. That's the way. Everybody wins this way. So none of us is perfect. What a gift in a way. What an opportunity to improve, to learn, to offer help, to offer encouragement, support, kindness to ourselves and to others. This is life. This is what is called life. Living to improve. So take care, look after yourself, be kind. Get help, offer help, whenever you can. Let's make it a better world together. Cheers.